Yo, what's up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, it's Jay Briggs here, continuing to cook up this NBA action, man. Y'all know we do on the jam session. We cook up every single game, every single day. I told you guys, this week, it's going to be really weird. I got a lot going on this week. So the timing of the jam session is probably not going to be what it usually is. But I'm still planning on posting every single day. So you don't got to ask me. It's going to be posted, just probably not in the greatest of timely manners. A lot going on. But let's cook it up, man. Remember, my favorite plays, the plays that I'm personally betting, are at Pick Dogs Premium, man. You guys can scoop up my best bets every single day over there. Let's cook up this card, man. Um, first game up, we got the Phoenix Suns out on the road facing Milwaukee. Milwaukee length two and a half. Look, I think this is a legitimate 50-50 game. Um, I can make the argument going both ways. Both teams have been terrible ATS all season. Looks like Giannis will play here. If I were to play it, I would attack the plus money, man. The plus 125, plus 130 with Phoenix, I think, is the way to go. Um, I'm not personally probably going to bet this game. I don't trust either of these two teams. 50-50 game is how I see this one. I could really make an argument going either way. I'd much rather attack the plus money. Give me Phoenix here in the first one. Next game up, man, we got the Miami Heat out on the road facing the Detroit Pistons. Heat, five-and-a-half-point road favorites. Jimmy Butler will not play here. Cannot bet Miami without Jimmy Butler. We know Miami likes going through the motions in the regular season. Anyway, Detroit been pretty hot the last couple months, ATS. I think Detroit is a live dog in that one as far as I'm concerned. I want the points in my back pocket. Next game up, we got the Denver Nuggets out on the road facing my favorite team, the Dallas Mavericks. No, I will not be going to the game today. Um, I know some of you guys were asking me about that. But no, I'm not going. So, hey, looming over this game, Luka Doncic is game time decision. Um, I think he plays. Huge ABC game. I think he plays. He was out for the Thunder Buddies game. I think he plays tonight. I'm taking my Dallas Mavericks, and I'm taking them straight up money line. I am. The Nuggets, they're susceptible to losing on the road. When we fade the Nuggets, where do we fade them? On the road. Um, we know they go stupid, dummy, crazy at home at the crib. But when you put together the last two seasons, um, they're a 50-50 team on the road. It's just, it just is what it is. That's the truth about the Nuggets on the road. The Mavs have been playing really well recently, um, despite losing to the Thunder Buddies. Covered, no Luka, played well. I think they're live dogs here. I really, really do. Double revenge game at home at the crib for the Mavs as well. Home dog, sign me up. I'm taking the Mavs straight up on the money line. And now the next game up, we got the Toronto Raptors out on the road facing the Orlando Magic. That line's high, but it's Magic or pass. Magic, best ATS team in basketball. We love the Magic here on this program. Raptors, they've been on the do not bet list all season long. Their injury report is ugly, still really concerning. Magic, as a home favorite, have been balling all season long. Magic should kick the crap out of Toronto. I know Toronto's been decent ATS recently, but I don't like the spot for them in this one. I think the Magic are head and shoulders a better team. I think they win the game with like 15-plus. Give me Orlando in that one. Next game up, we got the Boston Celtics out on the road facing the Washington Wizards. Uh, Celtics, St. Patrick's Day. It's probably the most public play on the board. I like the Celtics here. I can't bet it, though, because everybody, the mama, uncle, and auntie, probably is going to have this game. And I could see this being a game where the Celtics are up like 10 with a couple seconds to go and we're sitting there in a real sweat. I'd just rather stay off this game today. I'm damn sure not fading the Celtics. It's Celtics are pass for every game moving on, moving forward for the remainder of the season unless we have a clear and concise reason to do so to fade them. The Wizards, of course, do not offer that one of the worst ATS teams in basketball. Hey, in my power rankings, this is my number one team, the Boston Celtics versus the worst, the Washington Wizards, the 30th team. Celtics are past for me in that one. Next game up, we got the Brooklyn Nets out on the road facing the San Antonio Spurs. Spurs, one and a half point home favorites in this one. I think the line tells you everything you need to know. That's how bad the Pistons, I mean, not the Pistons, the Nets are terrible, 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 terrible. That's how bad they are. They're a very sharp falling knife, as far as I'm concerned. In the revenge game, at home, at the crib, I'm on San Antonio. I think they have a legitimate shot to win this game outright. Bounce back game at home, at the crib. Give me San Antonio here. I'm done. Sticking a fork in the Brooklyn Nets. Last and final game of the night. I'm not betting this thing. Hawks, Clippers, Hawks, worst ATS team in basketball. Clippers, everybody knows I love blindly fading them. 
if I were to choose here, I would take the Hawks and blindly fade the Clippers like I want to do every single night. Is there an avenue where the Clippers kick the crap out of Atlanta? Yes, it is. Do I want to be laying double digits with the Clippers? No, I do not. They're the most overrated team in the league um, because of the household names that they have on their team. Can they blow the doors off Atlanta? Yes. But can the Atlanta Hawks also come here and compete and possibly even beat the Clippers outright? Most definitely. So small, small lean here in our last and final game of the night on the Atlanta Hawks, man. I know I just rapid fired it to y'all, man. Hopefully y'all retained all that information. Uh, my best bets are at Pig Dogs Premium. I do have an NBA play of the day for sale today. Um, you guys can scoop that play up over at Pig Dogs Premium. we got a really good card tomorrow on a Monday. I will be back on regular scheduled programming tomorrow. So it should be posted at, you know, 930-ish tomorrow with the graphics and all that. So make sure you tune in. Really good card tomorrow. Just busy weekend and a busy week coming up. I'll be in Vegas for March Madness on Wednesday. So. Yeah, man. Busy week coming up. We've been red hot, though, in the NBA. Let's keep it rolling forward. I really do appreciate each and every one of you boys and girls that continue to tune in and watch this video. It's me and guy Jay Briggs. I'm out of here. Peace.